comes to trading, most traders are stuck trying to find market tops and bottoms. But, it is very hard to spot a market reversal in real time. What if there was a way through which you can catch market reversals with a high probability? That would enable you to enter and exit the stock at the right time. Well, there is a way. That is called as divergence trading. In this video, I will be showing you the best way of catching market tops and bottoms using divergence. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our upcoming videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. By definition, a divergence occurs when the price and a technical indicator convey different messages for the same price data. The technical indicator in this strategy will be an oscillator. Hence, it can be RSI, MACD, stochastic, etc. The point is that the technical indicator will not be aligned with the price. Now, divergences are of two types. Regular divergence and hidden divergence. Regular divergence is used to identify the tops and bottoms of the market. While, hidden divergence can be used to identify pullbacks. In this video, we will only cover regular divergence. We will learn how to identify and trade regular divergences using the RSI and the MACD indicator. An important point to note here is that we will use the 15-minute time frame for this strategy. I believe that time frames that are shorter than 15 minutes have a lot of unnecessary market noise. Hence, I recommend using a 15-minute time frame or higher. With that being said, let us start with the MACD indicator. Now, the MACD indicator is a trend-based momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages. The MACD indicator consists of three elements, the MACD line, the signal line, and the histogram. Generally, traders use MACD line and the signal line to spot divergences. But, we will only use the histogram to spot divergence. Now, let us look at a divergence. Here we see that the price made a strong up move here. The high of this move was represented by this bar on the MACD indicator. Then, we see that the price made a pullback, which is represented by the MACD indicator in the form of these red bars. Soon, the price breaks the previous high to create a higher high. But if we look at the MACD indicator, we see small green bars. Therefore, we can say that the price made higher highs, but the MACD made lower highs. This is called as a bearish divergence. By definition, a bearish divergence occurs when the price makes a higher high while the indicator makes a lower high. This shows us that the momentum on the second price move is considerably less than the momentum on the previous move. In other words, we can say that the momentum of the up move has decreased. Hence, we can expect the market to reverse and make a down move. So we want to take a sell trade. But, when do we enter the market? We will enter when the MACD gives a red bar after the bearish divergence. Here is the red bar. So we can enter the trade here. We can keep our stop loss above the previous high. We can place our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price gave a strong down move after our entry. Let us now look at a bullish divergence. Here we see that the price made a parabolic down move. This was represented by these big red bars on the MACD. Then the price makes a pullback and the MACD makes these green candles. Then we see that the price breaks the previous low to make a lower low. But at the same time, the MACD makes a higher low. This is called as a bullish divergence. A bullish divergence occurs when the price makes a lower low while the MACD makes a higher low. This indicates that the momentum of the down move has exhausted and we can expect a strong market reversal to the upside. So we can enter the trade after the MACD makes a green bar. 
Here is our entry as we see the first green bar after the divergence. We can keep our stop loss below the previous low. And we can keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price did consolidate for a while before hitting our target. Now, let us find divergence using the RSI indicator. So, here is the RSI indicator. Here we see that the price makes a strong up move, creates a swing high, and makes a pullback. The swing high is replicated on the RSI at this point. Then we see that the price breaks above the previous high and creates a higher high. But the RSI does not break the previous swing point. Therefore, it creates a lower high. So, the price has made a higher high, but the RSI has made a lower high. This is a bearish divergence. So we now want to sell. But when do we enter? For our entries, we will create a trend line on the RSI and wait for its break to sell. For instance, here is the trend line on the RSI. Here we see that the RSI has broken its trend line. So we can sell here. We will keep our stop loss above the previous swing high and we can place our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price made a strong down move after our entry. Now let us look at a bullish divergence. Here we see that the price makes a strong down move, creates a swing low, and then breaks the swing low to create a lower low. But on the RSI we see that it makes a higher low. Hence, we can say that the price made a lower low while the RSI made higher lows. This is a bullish divergence. So, we want to buy. We create a trend line on the RSI indicator and wait for its break. Here the RSI breaks the trend line. So we enter the market here. We can keep our stop loss below the recent swing low. And we can keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price makes a strong up move after our entry. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video then be sure to subscribe to our channel, so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. See you soon.